Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine and this is our Go for Teal video series. We're continuing our mini series on how to improve your RPM and today we want to talk about headings, uh, when and why you should use them. Uh, so headings are a little bit controversial sometimes in the uh, SEO community and we're going to go into that in a little bit. Uh, but headings are something that are available for you to use inside of uh, WordPress and most modern editors. Uh, they're going to allow you to select a part of your text and choose what's called a header tag. Uh, in HTML, those are known as H1 through 6, um, and those are kind of your header tags. And once you select text and turn that into a header, that is indicating now to your users uh, and to Google that this is an important piece of text. It's important to never use headings uh, to format your text. So don't use a heading because you want the text to look different. Use it because it's actually being used as a heading. And that's actually some advice given in the Google SEO Starter Guide, which we're going to link to in the blog post. Um, so really when you're using headings, use them what headings are intended to be used for. Uh, Google mentions you should think about your text as an outline, uh, and headings are going to be the different topics you're discussing. Um, pretty similar to probably when you were writing papers uh, back in school, you would have to create an outline. So you really want to still do that now with your text um, that you're writing for the web. Uh, and remember, as we alluded to before, most users are only going to read about 20 to 30 percent of your text. They're going to be doing a lot of skimming. Uh, headings are amazing for users that are skimming. They're going to know when to uh, slow down, stop, and read the content. Uh, you'll notice that we use headings in all of these posts and uh, throughout our blog. We encourage you to do the same. So the controversy I was discussing before uh, really comes down to which heading tags you should use. So as indicated before, there's H1 through H6, and you're going to have these choices uh, in your WordPress or whatever WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get editor. Um, and so what does H1 through H6 mean? So they're going to vary in importance and size. So H1 is your most important, also your largest heading, uh, straight down to H6, which is going to be your least important or your smallest heading. So what should you use uh, when editing in your post? So typically, hopefully, uh, your theme should be following uh, the way that the semantic web was meant to be used, or how HTML5 and all these buzzwords uh, really describe things. And what they really want is H1 to be your most important text. So in an article, that should be your headline, or the topic of which your whole post is about. On your homepage, it should be the name of your blog. Um, and if you're using what uh, HTML5 calls, again, semantic, each article can have its own H1 tag, and that's perfectly fine. But when you're writing heads in uh, headings inside of the article, you want to make sure you're not using H1. Uh, it's important to use H2, uh, and then if you have subheadings under that, H3. So whenever you're writing a post and you're forming an outline, think about it back to when you'd have like uh, numbers and then letters below. So H2 should be your individual points, and then your sub points should be H3s. Uh, and you'll really be in great shape. If you happen to have a theme that did it incorrectly and you have an H2 uh, for the name of your article, uh, that's something you'll probably want to work with your designer, your theme creator to get fixed. Should definitely again have H1 for the most important part of the article, which is the headline. Uh, and if you can't get that fixed, uh, you could always drop down a number. So using now H3 and H4 inside of your post, but that's not recommended. H1 should always be the most important thing of an article. Um, so why the heck, again, is Mediavine, an ad management company, talking to you about headings? Um, so as you know, we like to closely follow user experience for the way a lot of our ads are done. And something really cool about our technology that auto inserts ads throughout your content, if we see a header tag uh, and then a block of text, we will never insert an ad between that header tag and your post because we don't want to break up the user flow. However, if you're not correctly using H tags, and you're using these for things like formatting, or you're not using them at all, uh, we are going to end up accidentally breaking up, let's say, if you had uh, bolded text and then put your content. We're not going to know not to break that up because we don't know it's a heading tag. Nor does Google, nor does your user. So it's really important to properly mark up your headings using H tags. Uh, it's going to lead to a better user experience, better SEO, and better ad placement. So the trifecta here in these Go for Teal videos. Uh, so make sure you're doing that, and I think you'll be a lot happier with the ads fall on your page and how you start to rank in the search engines. Uh, so please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next week.